Okay. Hi, my name is Maureen Nathan. I'm an artist currently living and working in London. And uh, pre-lockdown, I did spend quite a lot of time in the West Country um, running drawing workshops and, and teaching. I'm still an art educator, but at the moment it's uh, not quite as easy to uh, run that part of my practice. Right now, I'm working on a series of uh, multiple prints based on uh, Tetra Pak um, packaging, which oat milk and things like that come in, which has come in handy over lockdown because I'm part of a mutual um, aid WhatsApp group in my street. And my neighbors drink a lot of uh, oat milk and a lot of uh, um, other things that come in those cartons. I use those to make dry points, which I like very much because it uh, it's drawing on a plate and it's quick uh, and the response time is very fast. I have a small tabletop craft press and I enjoy uh, working in multiples because I can follow the shapes and the forms and the designs. Um, I usually start with an image from the sketchbook, then I draw, uh, make a dry point print of it. I often um, use collage to uh, build up the print and a technique called chincole, which where you put a, um, a paper down on your plate without actually seeing what you're doing. Um, and I like that because it's like making a collage with your eyes shut. I love Kiki Smith. Um, she has a boundless exploration in her work. She uses so many different mediums and practices and she follows her instincts, which I find uh, very attractive in the work because it's personal and I can feel that when I look at it. Um, and it makes me feel more positive about following my own intuitive path. Um, and I, I take great comfort from the fact also that like me, Kiki Smith didn't finish art school. So that's, uh, I like that. Um, in terms of the past, I really, really like um, Piero della Francesca. I find his work to be so modern because it's, um, he has flat shapes and the way his forms occupy the space is just, a, I find it quite thrilling because he gives us a 2D space and creates a 3D atmosphere. And at that time, um, it was very, uh, it was a difficult thing to do and a, a great concept. He's just got shapes moving across his paintings, um, which involve you and engage you. Uh, and I love the colors also. Um, and as far as line and mark making, I, you can't beat Toulouse Lautrec for me. Um, beautiful line, beautiful um, a feeling for his subjects, which you can see whether they're dancers or a coffee pot, because you know he loves coffee. Um, I really like his work and it translates beautifully into paint. Um, and uh, there is a god for me, and that is Vuillard. I just love his use of color, pattern, abstraction. The people in his life are a huge part of his work. Um, and I think that for me, the attraction in a lot of work is the personal. Um, because when you look at a piece of, well, when I look at a piece of work, I like to be able to see the artist in it um, and engage with that personal part of things, um, which I think is something that I put into my own work um, because I base all my own work on my own life and my personal experience. But those are artists that really get me going. And then of course there's Marlene Duma and Mama Anderson, and I mean, the list is endless. Paula Rego, um, I think you'll have to just press cut and get me to stop talking. Uh, I would choose uh, Two Women in a Public Park by uh, Vuillard. It's uh, quite a small oil painting, which I saw at an exhibition in Bristol a few years ago. It is full of his use of color, pattern and uh, uh, it's slightly abstract and it has uh, people in it which I always find very attractive and when I saw it I couldn't stop looking at it and if it would have fit in my coat I would have put it in there and run away with that it's absolutely beautiful 